Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. In this short video, I would like to show you how to open DXF file, AutoCAD file in QGIS, how to configure another DXF import converter plugin in QGIS, how to save DXF file as a shape file or geo package in QGIS, and at the end, some tricks for better map visualization after conversion. So let's start. So before I start, I would like to tell you this is the very important topic for the city planners and architectures to convert the CAD data into QGIS since mostly they will get the data from municipality in DXF or DWG format and after that they can continue in the QGIS software. So first of all, we must go to the plugins and install the plugin from the uh, QGIS extension repository. And we already installed this plugin and we have shown you how to install the plugin in the part three. And please watch this video if you forget. And if you come to the vector, you see this icon DXF import and convert. And by clicking one, it will be open and we will show you how to configure this plugin. So the first part is input DXF file that you want to import or convert and from version 0.4 up multiple files can be imported at the same time. So let's browse our DXF file and after that opening and it will be added here. And the second part is the output pass. When enabled, you will be asked for the destination folder in which the shape files shall be saved. And as you see, we have two options. We can save it as a shape file or as a geo package. And if you forgot to check one of those, it will be saved uh, automatically in the shape file. And if you don't define your output path, it will be the conversion uh, starts in the temporary directory. So as you see, we have the drawing sitting and transformation sitting and this uh, part activates the transformation option, this georeferencing option, which is not necessary right now. But if you are interested to learn, you can uh, read the documentation from this plugin uh, in the PDF format. So we will continue with this part, you, you use geometry collection and group layers. So if use geometry collection checkbox is activated, blocks and signatures will be generated as a separate shaped layers. And by choosing group layer, you can determine if you want a separate group for each DXF layer in QGIS levels three. So let's continue with the text formatting code factor. If the height and use uh, option is activated. The formatting code is blank out and the following parameters are converted like a text, placement, underline, bold, italic and font. And uh, with the, this factor, this number, you can specify a factor. You can adjust the text size in QGIS width. And with the char set, it will be like an encoding system. Choose the code page of the DXF file. Right, uh, you see, we have by default the system, but right now I'm working with the uh, German uh, char set and I will use the UTF-8. So we will continue with the use color attribute from DXF. So if the checkbox is activated, the color information from the DXF is applied. Otherwise, an internal categorization like a random color is implemented. So we are, we are ready to import our DXF file into the QGIS and by clicking import here, it takes a little time as you see the first part is complicated and this edit entity it takes a little more time and it's uh, it's up to your uh, to your file if it's big it takes more time and if it's not too big it will be finished sooner so uh, it will be finished soon hopefully and it's 
done and as you see the data uh, will be like a group and uh, we must you know uh, define the uh, coordinate system and if we come here to the um, set group coordinate system and after that here it, it will be okay and if I just go into one of those layers and zoom to group you see your file here So we had exactly the same map in the uh, AutoCAD, but right now we have inside the QGIS. So you see right now it, it seems very good, but in, in some cases we have uh, the, the street names are doubled and it's uh, not the problem for the conversion, it's a problem in the uh, source file, in the DXF file. And if you come here and if you open your attribute, uh, table you see the data what you have and uh, right now if we go again to the properties we already show you in other in the previous uh, videos how to do the symbology and label and you see some of those uh, data are uh, are set by default with the, some some kind of you know description and in the description and you can deactivate the description and you can ch change for example the size to the six and inst instead of the map unit going to the uh, for example millimeters it will be uh, better to your map and by zoom in and zoom out the, the labels will be uh, larger and smaller and if you come to the placement as you see here it's uh, this description is already activated and if you come to the edit you see what kind of uh, information has been considered in uh, for this uh, expression and you can just deactivate if you would like or just add other information and by just okay you see right now the street name are changed and you can just and if I go again here in the properties and in the text format uh, yes I already here you can just deactivate and it won't be uh, bold anymore so you see and it was for the street name and if you come to the house number and by clicking here to the properties you can change for example the size smaller and after that instead of the map unit going to the millimeters and instead of the this color with this color is coming from the uh, original the source uh, file and if you this, the source file is instead of the black is red you see the data in the red uh, color but I will change right now into the red and you see the map is better right now it's exactly the color that you would like and if you would like to save uh, this layer uh, you see right now it, it will be in the, in the point and you can just save it export in the save feature as as a, a, a you know this uh, in the point uh, format and you can just here we show you already how to select those fields and even for the street name and if you come to the, for example, in the uh, parcel, Flushtuk, the parcel here, you have this option. It's, uh, you see, if I come here, you see those, uh, you can just change, for example, the color into the, uh, for example, right now, to be just deactive because uh, such expression are coming from the by default from the converter this plugin converter and uh, if i just deactive so right now you have this chance to change and if i just for example to the green so you see all parcel are in the green and for the building the same you see the all buildings here and if i just uh, you see you just uh, stay here for example and let me just uh, this multi-line string and if I just go again here and let's just uh, change the color uh, to the if I just deactivate this one and just uh, just sample layer uh, sample color and after that you see those color so and you can just save such a uh, Mm, uh, layers in the shape file or and after that putting as a post.js layer and you have those layers 
uh, as a uh, extra shape layer and later on you can add it to your map we have other information from your uh, original uh, source data but it's up to you in the, according to your project which one is necessary to use so i hope you enjoy from this video and if you have any question please write down in the comment section and we will answer your question as soon as possible and if you enjoy from this video please uh, like and uh, please subscribe our channel for following video thank you very much and see you soon